<coughs> Leader, since last Sunday evening's announcement and the, the confirmation of the bailout, I as a person have felt indeed a great sense of shame, uh, shame for our country, and I felt physically sick at where our country has ended up uh, in, in the present time. I think, you know, this generation cannot be proud of the legacy we've left the next generation and the mess we have left them to clean up. And in fact, I think the government should actually apologise, stand up, and the Taoiseach should apologise to the people of this country for where we're at. And where are we at? We're at a very serious juncture in our history uh, regarding the EU IMF bailout. And that's following a week where we heard minister after minister lie to the people of this country. They were in denial first, then they lied, and in fact, the way I see it is they have betrayed this country by their actions of the past week. The ministers involved have their, their trust is now in question and their credibility is in question. And by extension, the entire government is in question. People are afraid at this present time. They're afraid for the future of our country and for the future of our children. There is a great instability. And I have to say, I don't think the Green Party's actions over the weekend were intentional. I don't think they were intentional to destabilise the economy. But the net effect of their actions is, in fact, they have destabilised our country and our economy in the, in the international uh, view. The bailout is necessary. And for those parties that say it's not necessary, they're in cloud cuckoo land. The bailout is obviously necessary. It's hard for us to, to understand that and to believe it and to accept it. But in fact, our banks couldn't function without the bailout, and I think we need to acknowledge that. Leader, the old way of politics is no longer working. It has failed our people and it has failed our country. We are now staring into the abyss. Yes, we all as politicians and all political parties have serious responsibilities now to take. And I would ask you, Leader, for two things to happen. And I would ask you, you and your party's influence. And it's a challenge to the political system that we bring forward the budget now to an earlier date. Let us have full transparency about the budget and let's debate it as mature parliamentarians. And secondly, Leader, the opposition will more than likely be expected uh, to implement the four-year plan that previous speakers have spoken about. If we are to implement that, it's important that the opposition are a party to the negotiations on the memorandum of agreement of those negotiations with the EU and the IMF. That is an essential as far as I am concerned. Thank you, Cahirag. I just want to finish by saying, Leader, we are at the precipice. We are on the edge. I think there is a need for new politics and new, uh, new leadership, and we have to see that. Thank you very much, Thank, thank, thank you very much. Uh, Senator Callaghy. Thank you very much, Chairman. Um, Chairman, uh, sometimes people in this House get too embroiled in the politics of the issue, issues outside the remit of the House and lose sight of the real issues that we can have a meaningful input into. And we throw caution to the wind and... Uh, to score political points. Um, we need to ensure that we always apply fairness and fair procedures. There's a great talk, there is great talk